After the Moon and Mars, the moons of Jupiter are the most promising sites for the future human race to inhabit because they contain one of the most essential resources, water. But how could we construct human facilities on the moons of Jupiter? What would these structures entail? And could we remain and reside permanently on those bases? Let's discover. Hello everyone, welcome back to Z. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to receive our daily videos. Creating a human base on a Jupiter moon is a formidable task. Radiation is one of the primary issues astronauts face. Additionally, the surface of Jupiter's moons is frigid and irregular. To construct a human facility on one of Jupiter's moons, innovative technologies are required. Problems to address. Radioactive decay. Any space mission to this massive planet's moons is severely hampered by Jupiter's radiation. Radiation in Jupiter's atmosphere is caused by a combination of factors, including a powerful magnetic field and the emission of charged particles from Jupiter's magnetosphere. This magnetic field shields Jupiter from galactic cosmic radiation by deflecting charged particles toward the planet's polar regions and producing intense radiation belts around Jupiter. These radiation belts contain highly energized particles that can be hazardous to astronauts and electronic apparatus during space missions. It would be necessary to design a habitat to provide adequate radiation protection. Using shielding materials and structural design to safeguard the astronauts is one possible solution. In addition, radiation shielding materials could be incorporated into the design of spacesuits and emergency shelters to increase radiation protection. Using energy sources that emanate less radiation, such as solar energy, which does not emit charged particles that could damage equipment or endanger the health of astronauts, is another possible solution. In addition, continued research on advanced materials and technologies could lead to the development of novel solutions to the problem of radiation in deep space. But perhaps the simplest and most effective method of radiation protection would be to establish the first human base on Ganymede. Ganymede, the largest moon of Jupiter and the only one with a magnetic field, could shield some of Jupiter's radiation. This natural satellite's magnetic field is significantly dimmer than Earth's. However, it can deflect some charged particles from Jupiter's magnetosphere and reduce their impact on the surface of Ganymede. During extended stays on the moon, the protection provided by Ganymede's magnetic field would not be adequate to guarantee the safety of astronauts or electronic equipment. Additionally, this location is exposed to galactic cosmic radiation, which is most intense in deep space, requiring additional precautions to protect astronauts. Even though Ganymede's magnetic field would not be sufficient, at least we would be protected if we established the first base there. Numerous scientists consider Ganymede's radiation protection to be an advantage for establishing the first human base. Others, however, believe that water is the most important element, as life cannot exist without it. What do you think? Is radiation protection more essential than ensuring an adequate water supply? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Water. Europa is unquestionably the best candidate when discussing water. It is known that this moon could contain an entire ocean of water beneath its icy caps, however, accessing it could be quite difficult, as digging a tunnel from the surface of Europa to the depths of the satellite in order to extract water would not be as simple as on Earth. Consider that the lowest temperatures in these regions reach minus 230 degrees Celsius. The frigid temperatures on Jupiter's moons are the consequence of their distance from the Sun and the absence of a thick atmosphere to trap heat. A surface's temperature is determined by the amount of solar energy it absorbs and the amount of energy it can retain. In the case of Jupiter's moons, the majority of solar energy is reflected, and the retained energy is insufficient due to the absence of a dense atmosphere. An efficient heating and insulation system would be required to keep a human base on Jupiter's moons at a habitable temperature. If natural heat sources are discovered on any of these moons, heating systems could consist of electric radiators, fuel combustion systems, or even geothermal power systems. Insulation is essential for minimizing heat loss and maintaining a comfortable temperature. 
To minimize heat transmission between the interior and exterior of the base, the structures and spacesuits would need to be designed with high-quality insulating materials. If we were to extract water from any of Jupiter's moons, we would need to store it in containers that are entirely insulated and airtight to prevent it from freezing. We would also need to use water reuse systems similar to those on the International Space Station. Thus, we would not be dependent on the continuous extraction of water, we would only have to extract it once. Therefore there would be no need to establish the first human base in Europa. Remember that Europa is a much smaller satellite than the Moon, so its gravitational attraction is significantly weaker. Because of muscle atrophy and calcium loss in the bones, astronauts would be unable to reside there permanently if we established a base there. Ganymede, in contrast, is larger than Mercury. In this satellite, the gravitational force of attraction is more comparable to that of Earth. When combined with its magnetic field, these characteristics make it the ideal candidate for a future human base. The optimal solution would be to establish a permanent settlement on Ganymede and transport water from a nearby natural satellite, such as Europa, to the base on Ganymede using rockets. Finally, it would be stored in vacuum-sealed containers at temperatures above freezing. Technologies An essential consideration is that the technology required to construct facilities on some of Jupiter's moons already exists, including 3D printing. 3D printers are an increasingly popular technology for fabricating and constructing objects and structures in a variety of disciplines, from aerospace engineering to medicine. When constructing a human base on one of Jupiter's moons, 3D printers could be an invaluable resource for reducing the amount of supplies that must be transported from Earth. Using digital designs that have already been created, 3D printing generates layered, stacked objects. Printing can utilize a variety of materials, including plastics, metals, and even bio-based materials. On Jupiter, 3D printers could be utilized to print structures, tools, and spare parts from the same natural satellite materials. There are numerous advantages to using 3D printers. First, the ability to print objects and structures on-site could drastically reduce the quantity of supplies astronauts would need to bring from Earth. This could reduce the cost and difficulty of a space mission and make it more feasible to establish a base on one of Jupiter's moons. Additionally, on a natural satellite of Jupiter, where the supply of materials is limited and access to spare parts may be challenging, the ability to print objects on-site could be crucial to the mission's long-term success. However, obstacles are also present. First, this technology is still in development and has never been tested in a space environment or on a planet other than Earth, we do not know how it would perform in such an unforgiving environment. The simulation of the construction of a Mars colony, dubbed Mars Home Planet, managed by the technology company Icon and the construction company Group Big, is the closest thing we have. In this project, 3D printers were used to construct prototype homes using local Martian materials, such as regolith, moon dust, which were then evaluated in a simulated environment on Earth. The plan is to send these 3D printers to Mars in the future to construct large-scale dwellings and structures using local materials. If it works on Mars, it should also function on Jupiter's moons. Nuclear energy. In addition to 3D printing, nuclear power is another technology that could be used to construct the first human bases on Jupiter. This may be the only viable option for supplying energy in a location so frigid and distant from Earth, as these moons receive very little sunlight and solar energy would not suffice to power a base. Nuclear power systems can provide a constant and reliable source of energy, which is essential in extreme environments such as the moons of Jupiter. In addition, nuclear power systems could provide heat to keep astronauts comfortable in such locations frigid temperatures. Utilizing nuclear fission reactors that operate on uranium or plutonium could be one approach to generating nuclear energy. These reactors would need to be devised and constructed to withstand the harsh conditions of Jupiter's moons, such as radiation, low gravity, and freezing temperatures. However, this has already been accomplished. Radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, are one example of nuclear power in space. 
These generators produce electricity using the heat produced by the decomposition of radioactive isotopes. Multiple space missions have utilized RTGs, including the NASA Curiosity rover on Mars and the Voyager probes. If we want to build a base on Jupiter's moons, we could implement these types of nuclear generators on a larger scale, as they would power an entire base instead of a small spaceship. However, we would need to find a way to transport such a large generator to a planet as distant as Jupiter. Radiation will no longer exist. As previously indicated, one of the most important problems to solve is the amount of radiation astronauts would be exposed to on any of Jupiter's moons. Radiation is a significant issue that must be addressed during the construction of the base, so it will be necessary to incorporate radiation-resistant materials into the shielding structures that will safeguard all astronauts. Research into sophisticated materials, such as carbon nanotubes, may be essential for establishing a human settlement. Another viable alternative would be to construct artificial magnetic fields. On the basis of electromagnetic induction, these could be made by winding enormous copper coils. The magnetic field generated by electricity would be sufficient to insulate the space station from Jupiter's radiation. Finally, we must keep in mind that all of this is predicated on the current state of science and technology, a task as difficult as colonizing Jupiter's moons will take decades or even centuries to accomplish. Creating a human base on one of Jupiter's moons signifies an exciting challenge for humanity. We are on the cusp of a new era of space exploration, during which we can expand our presence beyond Earth and begin colonizing other planets in our solar system. Although there are numerous technical and scientific obstacles, we possess the technology and knowledge to realize this vision. Beyond the scientific and technological benefits, however, the construction of human bases on Jupiter's moons represents a chance for humanity to share a common object and explore the unknown together. Thank you for watching and being a part of this amazing community. I'm incredibly grateful for your support. If you haven't already, join us by subscribing. See you in the next video.